Well guys, I apologize for the wind once again, but welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and we're preparing for yet another storm. Today is Sunday, February the 24th, I believe. So we're gonna get all these cars behind us moved over into this area. So let's do a little bit of YouTube magic. And just like that, all the cars are gone. Well, they're not gone. We just parked them all over there. So bring on the snow. It's just starting to flurry here now. So let's go home and work on the wall art project. Okay guys, so we are out in my garage today. As you can see, I've got my car behind me and we're gonna be working on the wall art project. So the goal today is to get the headlight buckets installed and get them fastened in place and maybe we'll even get some headlights in it the trim rings and all that sort of thing so what i've got here is i've got the adjustment screws these are brand new i got these off of amazon they were very cheap they're a Dorman product and uh, if you're looking for them they're generally quite universal there's the part number on them right there so the idea is that the ones with the white nylon clips go in the side and the black ones because they're smaller go into the top so we will be replacing the one that's already there and uh, we'll be getting these in. So let's get at her. All right, so first things first, we're gonna open up the package and we've got the small black clips which are meant to fit into here and they're just hopefully gonna snap into place. Well, that's probably not a good thing either. And you wanna hope that it doesn't break the fiberglass which this one did, that it sits into. That ain't good. Let's try the top one, see how it works. Okay. Yeah, same thing, that one doesn't want to fit very well. But it might do for this specific project. Biscuit. Those are just as brittle as the ones I took out of it. Well, crap. That's disappointing. Well, poop! I'm going to have to epoxy those in there, I think, to make them work. So those black ones are going to work on the sides and in here. It's a good thing I bought more than one package because I don't think I don't think those ones there are going to work for what we need. They're just uh, they're just way too brittle. get one side started in there anyways. I guess we should make sure that those are going to slide in there all right. And that one's going to be tight, but it'll work. Same thing with this one. So maybe that's the trick is to put them in the bucket first and then see if they'll snap into place. I bet you these have never been able to be adjusted on this car since 1985. For this one here, where I can't get these two screws out, that uh, little ring, I'm going to try and find the headlight for it now, put it in there, and it might make it a little bit easier to get it in there before uh, securing it in place. All right, so we're going to get this in here. 
And this is the three pin. So we're going to put this one on the bottom. This is going to be for the high beam, I think. If not, we can switch her out later. And on these old seal beams, there is a top and a bottom. So you just read the writing. The writing should be facing you and leg legible. And we've got our little box of stainless steel screws that we can use to help hold some of these fasteners in. And one thing that I am missing on this bottom one is the spring that kind of holds it, uh, holds it into place like so. I think I've got a couple of those kicking around. I'm not going to go searching for them right now. We're just going to get these uh, put into place. I think that still has to go down a bit. Chances are I'm probably just going to put some music to this anyway, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch every single thread go in, in real time. So there it is, it's all starting to come together. And like I said, we just gotta get a spring for this side of the light. And it's probably gonna be all right, like I said, for the purpose of what we're doing here with it. But I'm still looking for a passenger side front lens right here. I know a lot of you guys have said that you've been keeping your eyes out and I really appreciate that. But uh, this is all that we really need for the lighting assembly. And then we still need to find ourselves a grill. One thing I did find, as far as the grill, is just the grill surround, and as you can see, it says Chrysler across the top, and then on this side is where the hood ornament mounts, which I do have also kicking around here somewhere. So we have got the passenger side lights all together. We're going to come over here and do the same with the driver's side, and then I think we'll be done for today on this project. So, once again, I'm going to uh, stick this thing on time lapse and you guys can follow along. And there we have it, guys. We've got the driver's side in, the passenger side in. And with the exception of the grill, this thing is really coming together. So I am really excited to finally get this thing to the point that it's at right now. Basically, I think the next step, because I don't have the grill to put together, I think the next step now is going to be starting on some wiring and getting it mounted onto a backer board. So um, that's what we're going to do. And then we've got to figure out some way to get the bumper mounted up on that same board and be able to have it look the way it's supposed to as if it's sticking out of the wall so i'm going to make sure that i have all that down pat before i press record on the next episode of the wall art and i hope you guys are enjoying this little series of this because uh, i'm having a ton of fun doing it so uh, that's going to conclude this episode and stay tuned for more because we will be working away at this project now uh, until it's completed obviously and uh, we're still looking for some parts so a grill and any of you guys who are out there 
who uh, you know are running around the uh, the old junkyards down in the south. Of course, up north here we're all covered in snow, but down south, if you're ever out there and you see a 78 or 79 Chrysler Cordoba kicking around, take a look at the grill, see if it's intact. Let me know. Uh, I'm, I'm more than willing to pay a fair price for it and to ship it to have it brought back uh, to me so that we can finish up with this wall art project. Guys, t-shirts and hoodies are for sale in the first link in the description box below. I hope you can head over there and help support the channel in another way by getting your very own Old Car Auto Guy t-shirt or hoodie. And again, as I always say, all the sizes are there and many colors to choose from. Thursday evenings is our live stream with Straight Six Fan. I'm gonna put his card right here so you, can go, so you guys can go over and take a look at his channel and see uh, what he has to offer as well as subscribe because when you subscribe, you'll get all the notifications of his videos as well as the live stream. What the live stream is all about is it's about connecting with you, our subscribers. If you are a small YouTube creator and you're in the automotive genre, then this might be the ticket for you to get out there and get some exposure and we have really good luck and success with getting our name out there. We talk about automotive news, tips, and challenges uh, with our YouTube channels in hopes that we can help you guys steer in the right direction to gaining those valuable subscribers. Also, we give shout outs at the end of the live stream. Some of the smaller channels out there who have not yet been discovered, well, we're hoping to at least throw a few subscribers their way. So guys, I end every video with a positive note you know what it is. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror, guys. I love you so much. God bless, and we'll see you in the next video.